out here working on this Symbio unit. Just figured I'd uh, give everybody the run through. Just so if you're ever having this problem and you're trying to get these things running, uh, this is pretty much how you do it. So you're gonna hook your common in, your Y2. This is a dual stage unit. So it's got two different stages. So you got your Y2 and you got your Y1 right here. Right here is gonna be your thermostat, 24 volts out. And then you have your fan from your thermostat as well. Now, in order for this to work correctly, you have to have it interlocked, which is where it comes back on your uh, J18. So I have this as uh, white. Let's make sure. So if we're looking at here, this is your demand limit, which is right over here. And then we're looking at different zones. You got your R, your Y1 is your second terminal. You don't ever have to send the heat out here, but you do have to send your G out, which this right here, your fan wire. And then on your adapter board, you have an indoor fan run out. This is your interlock. So this right here goes, comes in from the thermostat and then now it goes back out to that other adapter board on the inside and then that tells it to run. So this is pretty much your interlock. Right here's your e-stop, that's where you're gonna hook your smoke, which I did, but they have to pull a new wire. So this right here is uh, not gonna be used because it's touching red somewhere. And that's pretty much it out here. Now as far as hooking up to your Bluetooth, you're gonna hit this. You can go through your uh, different screens. Let's see if you can see this. This little guy off. So you got your home your status, it'll give you a view of everything, your settings, your service mode. This right here is really nice because you can go through diagnostics, you can go through test, gives you your statistics, your Modbus control. If you had that hooked up, your Modbus is where this is gonna hook up. And that's gonna go from options module to this adapter board allows the communication they have the imc over here now we've ran this right here is a 24 volt out you can run a relay set inside of here for y1 and y2 if you have building controls that aren't compatible like allerton is one of them so you're going to run your your uh relays and then you're just going to energize the relays off of y1 and y2 run it and then you're going to have to go into the settings and make sure it's listed as a um a conventional thermostat system and as long as it has the y1 y2 call that's all you need now in the event that your y2 calls before y1 with the symbio unit it will always run y1 regardless so you can't just pull it off and do a repair you have to bring the whole unit down um, because the board will just continue to run y1 even though there's not a call so even if you have a call for the second stage, it'll still run the first stage. Now right here is the old EDC switch. Usually you'd have your EDC connections, but this is actually the demand limit shed. So anytime that uh, uh, receives 24 volts, it's gonna, it, it, when it receives 24 volts is when it's gonna actually start limiting it and possibly shutting down the compressor to keep it from icing up. Um, let's go through the settings one more time. So let's go through diagnostic. It'll show normal, reset. I'm going to go back through. Let's go back home. Go through status. You can see your cooling capacity. Your demand limit. Your uh, building automation system lockout. Demand limit request, emergency overrides, filter runtime. Usually don't use these unless you have a VFD drive. So you're gonna go to the cooling capacity. So we'll come back. Now we'll go through the settings. Now in the service mode, if you let's go back, we'll go to test. 
So you could do a performance test, you can do a service test state, this will tell you what it's in. But the performance test, you can go through and activate, cool one, which will bring it down. Now that one came on, let's go ahead and exit out of that. start up all right so that pretty much wraps it up out here you can go through your configurations your display your time and date it's better if you download the symbio app and go through and uh, set it via your phone um, you can also add a uh, service pin to make sure that uh, nobody can change it or edit the configurations. And I'll go ahead and do a walkthrough or a screenshot of everything through the app. It's very cool. So now on the inside of the panel, you got this relay board right here. Now if you had the uh, options module for your electric heat, that would be right over here. So that would be located right in this area. And then all the plugs actually plug in right here to tell it what to do. Now, if you have heat, you're going to have to use the uh, um, the Modbus, which is right down here. So you're going to have these are polarity sensitive, plus and minus right down here. And then your adapter board is going to connect into here. So this IMC goes from here over to your uh, Symbio adapter board. Now the way we ran it was your thermostat comes through, your Y1, your Y2 go outside, which is this other brown, and your reds come in, tie in together. Now until they can run a new wire, we had to run it this way where we ran the floats through on these two back here. This right here is, this is your coil defrost, which is that EDC one on the very bottom and then right up here is your fan run in so this comes from the outdoor unit and you don't run it from the thermostat over you run it from the condenser in so that it's an interlock now if you had electric heat you'd hook your electric heat right up to here on your w1 your w2 and you follow the uh, electric heat uh, wiring schematic and if anybody needs that, just let me know. Now you do have to power the bottom of this board with 24 volts on this pin right here. So this is your J10 pin. Your 24 volts comes in on the left and your common comes in on the right. This has to be powered, otherwise this board will not show anything. And you do not use this terminal strip to power that. So, but yeah, you don't need to follow most of this. Um, that's only if you have an electromechanical if you're running different uh, indoor outdoor units but this is a symbio to symbio so this is how you do that so your green comes back in on your white and it goes in there I just changed the color so somebody would know right. pretty much wraps it all up I'll go ahead and go over this wiring schematic you guys can pause it if you want to take a look Hope this helps somebody.